Fennell status in the Miss Universe competition is fourth runner up to the Queen, but not even the crown could give her the level of attention she has been getting in this, the aftermath. Case displacement has started a huge global conversation on race, hair and culture. Winfrey sat down with the Jamaican Queen of Beauty at her home in Kingston before making the trek down to jazz. Let's take a look. All right, Casey, thanks for having us oh. at, in your home. Yes, welcome. <laughs> good, good to be here. All right, so um, where is your head now that you've got some time to reflect on this whole pageant? Honestly, I can't believe it's over. I feel mm. like I just landed in Miami the other day and I was counting down the days until the show and all of a sudden the show just came and went like that and now I'm back home. Mm -hmm. Just everything that went by really quickly. But I'm just soaking in everything still. I mean, after everything that's happened on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But I'm loving every moment. What are, what are some of the pre-moments that are standing out in your mind and how challenging, mm -hmm. hectic were they? The hours the hours that we had to be up and out, it was, it was tough. Um, mm -hmm. Some nights we'd come in 11 o'clock from rehearsals and we'd have to be up by five to get ready to make sure we're out by six. I mean, you, you didn't really get much beauty rest, <laughs> but mm -hmm. when it, well, it's kind of important you get your beauty rest, but I think I, we all did well. I mean, we were all composed of, you know, we didn't really make it affect us much because we really wanted to be there. You seem to uh, have a very good relationship with, the, with your fellow contestants. Yes. A am I correct? Yes, I try to get to know everybody. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, It's not just about me. I want to get to know the 87 other girls. Mm -hmm. And although I didn't really get to sit down and chat with everyone, those who I did meet, mm -hmm. I wanted to form a good relationship with them. Not only because I don't know if I'll ever see them again, and that doesn't matter, but we can always, you never know what the future holds. I mean, we can always see each other again and communicate. Did you find that they were coming to know you? They wanted to know Miss Jamaica? Not just me. I find that it was just a great group of girls. Yes. Everybody was kind and caring. Of course, you have some of them that were you know, completely focused. They were taking it so seriously. They're just like, mm. I'm here for this, you know? I'm not here to make any friends, but... I didn't want to take it so seriously and lose, my, lose myself in the moment because if, if I do, you don't, you don't know what's going to happen at the end of the day. And you just have to make sure that you're having fun at the same time. Okay, so you were very relaxed. Throughout. Oh yes, I was relaxed. The most times I always had my family calling me, make sure I'm mm -hmm. grounded. And my friends always sending me great messages. So, and not only friends and family, but people who are just watching the competition from outside. Jamaicans are yard and abroad. I'm talking about international people. Everybody was just sending me great stuff, some great vibrations. Okay. <laughs> so where did you place yourself on Coronation Night? Uh, to be honest with you, when I reached top five, I wasn't sure. But when, something in my gut said that they were going to announce my name first. Mm -hmm. Not first place, but meaning they were going to announce my name first as per fourth runner-up. I don't know why, but in my, I don't know. Really? I was like, I feel like they're about to say my name. And as I said that, they said, Jamaica. So I was like, okay, all right, you made top five. That's a great accomplishment. Oh, so you were cool with it? I'm happy. You had no problem. I don't have any problem being with it. number five. No. It's five out of eight, eight girls. That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you, you made it to five. I, I, how did you feel when, you, were, when you, you had made five, when you were called among the five? It was kind of a sigh of relief. Like, relief? I, yes, because okay. I finally found out my position. I was like, oh, they finally called my name. I know what the, where I stand. But of course, we're all there because we wish to be Miss Universe. Okay. And although it didn't happen, it doesn't make me unhappy at all. I'm quite happy with my accomplishments. I've reached quite far in the competition. But weren't you very popular in the contest? One of the standout <laughs> girls in there who, yes. who everybody was like talking about before? Oh. Online, trending online and so on? Um, that's how it seemed. Yeah. <laughs> but but you weren't not sure. up to the, I wasn't sure, but that's not up to the public. It's really up to the panel of judges that were there that night. Yes. So, of course, we have the pre-events. I mean, we have an interview before that, and we have other photo shoots and stuff like that. But we, it's really about that night and the panel of judges and how they rate each person. So did you understand the boos when they came? Did was, you understand them right Not away? at first. I was like, I was, I was confused. Are they 
booing me because I'm not <laughs> supposed to be here. I, I didn't understand. And then I realized okay. when the contestants are like, Jamaica, and even the people in the crowd are just like, no way, she should have placed higher. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay. I really had to keep myself composed at that moment because I didn't know how to receive everything. It was a lot. <laughs> okay. So so you you were like, what's going on when yes, you heard all these booing? Because even when the chord, it appears, based on what I was hearing, mm -hmm. It appeared that even when they were calling the next runner-up, yes. they were still <laughs> cheering you yeah. or booing yeah. the, 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 the placement, your placement. Right. Um, okay, so do you think you answered the last question mm -hmm. well? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, explain, because some people think you should have, you didn't do so well on that question. Let me. We have so many things we can talk about when it comes to the contributions Jamaica has made for the world. Mm -hmm. But sports and music are a big part of our culture. Mm -hmm. And we have contributed so much to the reggae music. I mean, this is the inception. Bob Marley really started yes. and influenced a lot of people to be a part of that movement. And not to men mention our world-class athletes, Usain Bolt, Shelley and Fraser Price, Alia Atkinson. So we're not mm -hmm. only fast on land, but in water too. So I don't, I don't see anything wrong with my answer at all. Okay. Because some were saying you should have gone back into some historic figures like uh, Marcus Garvey yes. and to look at Sugar and, and, right. and um, Walksite and these things. But like I said before, it could have been come from any angle. Winford, mm -hmm. you could have... But you, how long did you ha have to you, answer this question? You only question? have 30 Wasn't seconds. 30 seconds, yes. right? But because I felt that if you had gone and say reggae music... Mm -hmm. Period. That's it. It would have taken over. I thought that that would do it. But I'm saying because that, that is saying. the single biggest thing we've given to the world. Absolutely. And this this may offend some people, but or they might disagree with me on that. Mm. But in my view, mm -hmm. reggae music is the biggest thing that Jamaica has given to the world. I agree, and that's why I included this in my answer. Okay. So you you answer. I believe you. you I feel confident in my answer. And, and we gave the world the fastest man. So when right. you say Bob Marley. Reggae and Usain Bolt, you've answered the question. Of course. What is your take mm -hmm. on the short hair controversy? I don't see why it's a controversy at all. Mm -hmm. um, Miss Universe's tagline is confidently beautiful, and yes. that speaks to women, young women. Just representing yourself, how you see fit, how you feel most comfortable. It's all about being comfortable in the skin you're in, and this is how I feel comfortable, and this is how I wanted to represent myself. So if mm -hmm. it is that I wasn't supposed to win because of my short hair, then this was not for me, and that's absolutely okay. All right, but do you think it was a factor that judges didn't judge you fairly right. because of my your hair? hair was different from the others? I don't think so, because if that was a stipulation, they would have... Um, had it in the rules and regulations, you cannot have a short hair contestant. Mm -hmm. I would hope that they would make that known. So I, w I hope not. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I can't tell you why I was fourth run up. You have to ask the judges. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, there's a bit of irony in all mm -hmm. of this. Because in Jamaica, when you won Miss Jamaica, mm -hmm. there was this controversy about the, the lightness yeah, right. of your skin. Right. And now, in the Miss Universe, the, the controversy is about the shortness uh, of your hair. Have you thought of that? Not really. I don't, I've, I have really had the time to really sit down and think, why another controversy about this now? But I think it's actually a good controversy because a lot of persons have been like, wow, we love your hair. We love that you went with your short hair and you didn't feel the need to put, to have longer hair. Mm -hmm. So it's only been good vibes I've been receiving. I just wish that everybody would, you know, congratulate our new Miss Universe because she did win, you know? Sunday night has passed. She's our Miss Universe and I wish her all the best. Um, there's a call out for, <laughs> for Jamaicans and... Fans of mm -hmm. Casey Fenner right. to cut their hair short <laughs> <laughs> in protest right. of the decision. Right. What do you think about that? I think don't, don't do it because of Sunday night's controversy. Yes. Do it if cut your hair if you want to cut your hair. Don't, don't protest at all. <laughs> please. Mm -hmm. Please don't make Mr. Trump call me. <laughs> no. okay. But if, if, if you want to cut your hair, cut your hair, but not to protest. No protests, please. No protests. What are your views on the winner, Miss Miss Columbia? Yes. 
Oh, she's gorgeous. She has such a great sense of humor. I mean, we were joking on the stage during the show and everything, and great personality. And I believe she will be a fantastic Miss Universe. Mm -hmm. I wish her all the best for her reign. And there was a moment when she was being interviewed, mm -hmm. and you were in the background, mm -hmm. getting a lot of hugs and chairs and kisses mm -hmm. from your fellow contestants. contestants. Right. And uh, not her. She wasn't getting that. Did Was that the the situation behind the scene, or was that just a, a fleeting moment in those post-crowning scene? Uh, she was getting the chairs and everything. It was just that it was a split in two. Mm -hmm. um, half of the contestants went to her, and as I was making my way over to her to congratulate her, I saw a rush come to me, and it was the other contestants saying, Casey, congratulations, you're our queen. You, this is yours, you're still our queen no matter what. And everybody just started to chant Jamaica, Jamaica. And I really didn't know what to think in that moment. And all of a sudden, they had me in the air. Miss mm. Tanzania is about this big. And she lifted me up and put me on her shoulders. And everybody was lifting me up and down. I was like, oh my God, okay, okay. Wow. <laughs> it, was a, it was a fantastic moment. I mean, to see that these girls actually thought I should have been... Miss Universe. It's a great feeling to know that they actually thought that. Ah, I think all Jamaica, <laughs> and lots of people around the world believe that you are Miss Universe. <laughs> and not, no disrespect to the Queen. Of course. Um, but they, I think, are, are cheering, still cheering for you and calling you their Queen anyway, at least. Where do you go from here? What next for you? Where do you do? What do you do now? Wow. Well, well, there's a lot that's going to be happening that I can't confirm as yet because as the night was over, I was receiving extreme amounts of emails, phone calls, contact information coming my way. And let me mm. tell you, it's a lot that's going to be happening and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Offers, <laughs> offers are offers, coming your oh, way. Oh, yes. Trust me. Ah, okay. All right, so you're taking time out now to, take, to get a little rest at, or, you, or what? Right this minute, what do you do in the next couple of days? Are you going to Jazz and Blues? For I example? will be at Jazz and Blues. I want to see Mariah Carey. Okay. I'm so excited to see her. But I'm taking not much rest, but just mm -hmm. enough just to really get everything back together and bounce back and be like, all right, ready to go again. I just want to be at home for two seconds, you know, okay. for a few days. Oh, yes. And it just feels good to be back in my bed and not a hotel bed. As, lo as comfortable as Mr. Trump's beds were at his hotel, it's time to be my own. <laughs> so when next the public um, sees you, you'll be at Jazz and Blues? Yes, absolutely. And we'll be there too. Oh, well, I'll see you there. So we look forward to yes. seeing you. Thank you so much, Casey. Thank you, Info. Congrats again. Thank you. You've done yourself proud and us. Thank you. Jamaica proud. Thank you. And lots of people around the world. Africa, Miss Tanzania, that should be, should be very proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, there you have it, our Jamaican queen of beauty, Miss Casey Fennell. Tiffany, all that's left then is for us to make our way across the road. So guess what? Jazz and Blues 2015. Absolutely. After the break. I'm going to marry you anyway.